Oh, oh, I can't believe he was talking about my martial art. Did he really, did he really say that bad stuff about my martial art? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said it. I said it, and I'm going to say it again. <laughs> all right, this is for all of you sensitive Nancy mother flowers out there. Get your panties in a bunch because I've been making fun of your martial art. I got news for you. I'm going to make fun of almost all the martial arts out there. So if I haven't gotten to yours yet, don't worry. I will. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Because there's a lot of stupid ones out there. And here at Gutter Fighting Secrets, we're always going to give you our honest opinion on stuff. Yeah, it might not be politically correct. Yeah, you might not like it. And yeah, I might not, might not even be right. I might be wrong about it. You know, I can't study all the martial arts out there. I just can't. I can't go and study 52 blocks, tank, tai, what is it, taekwondo, tang sudo, freaking ninjutsu. Like, I've dabbled in some of those here and there, but I can't study them all, all right? So when I look at something and I get a question about it, and I say somebody comes to me and they say, Will, what do you think about this one or that one or this one? I'll research it. I'll watch some YouTube videos. I'll do a little internet quick Google search on it. And if I think it looks really fucking stupid, I'm going to tell you about it. And I'm not going to hold back. You know, if I held back, if I tried to be more diplomatic, if I wasn't as political, then maybe the channel would be doing better. But that wouldn't be authentically me now, would it? And what did Bruce Lee say? Be authentically you. All right. And I'm trying to hold true to what I believe in and what I think is the right thing to do. And what I think is the right thing to do is give you our honest opinion about some of these BS martial arts out there. Now, again, they're not all BS. Like I got a lot of flack for talking about 52 blocks. A lot of 52 Blocks guys out there got really, really, really upset with me. Like, they got, you could see them, like, sit behind the keyboard. How dare you? How dare you talk about my... No, listen, I try to be respectful, especially to systems like that, where it's, like, clearly got some very good stuff in it, right? It's a street system. Like, it's clearly not complete BS. But I will tell you, when I think there's some funny stuff in it, that just doesn't make too much sense. I can't lie. I won't lie. And I won't hold back. And that's part of the reason YouTube hates us here. Because we don't hold back. And we give you the real McCoy. We give you our real thoughts and opinions. And we talk about things. When something doesn't make any sense, like, let's go, Brandon. I'm going to tell you, it doesn't make any freaking sense. Just like freaking Krav Maga. Why are they giving these people their black belt? You know, I was going to show you a video clip of this school. This Krav Maga school. And it was a black belt test. And I stopped myself short, okay? Because I have morals. And I don't want to mess up this man's business. It's got his logo all over it. And I won't do that. I'd feel really bad if I did. I don't want to get popular by, like, fucking with another man's business. I'll stop short at naming specific schools. But there was a 350-pound woman who doesn't, didn't know how to do basic cooperative techniques. There was another chick that was standing there going like this in the air. And it's like, why the fuck are you giving these people their black? They don't deserve it. And schools will give their black belts out because the students pay money. And you basically are buying a black belt. It's fucking bullshit. That's why I fucking hate Krav Maga. Because it's bullshit. Not that the techniques can't fucking work, but... They won't if you're 350 fucking pounds, period. <laughs> I mean, come on. It, it's just a fucking fact, you know? And then I just, I refuse to be, I refuse to be some fucking kind of like pussy who won't speak my mind. And so when I talk about your martial art, if it's stupid, I'm going to tell you. If it's cool, I'm going to tell you. Like, I like Muay Thai. I think some of the round kicks are, like, stupid for me, but that doesn't mean they're stupid for you. Some guys can throw round kicks like a mother flower. BJJ's got stupid shit about it, like inverting your guard and, like, all these kicky feet techniques that don't really work on the street. They might work in competition, but they fucking sure as shit won't work on the street, generally speaking. So, like... I can't I can't hold back and, and play and play coy. I just can't do it. So like if and when I talk trash about your martial art, please understand I'm not insulting you. I don't know you. I don't know if you're even fucking watching this. I don't know you at all. 
you could be a monster. You could be a beast. Maybe you're not. I don't know. Maybe you make whatever martial art that you use work. Um, maybe you do Taekwondo and you're really good at it and you could kick my ass. I don't know. But what I'm telling you, these broad generalities about I think this specific martial art is useless because it does only cooperative drilling or this martial art is not relevant for today because it freaking like people are doing backflips and who does that? Like, that's what I mean. I'm not, you know, and people get really, this is the thing about cults, right? Like people will defend a cult or a religion to the death, to the fucking death, right? Like if you, if you go and tell a Catholic something about the Catholics, they'll fucking kill you for it. <laughs> Trust me. I know because I have friends that are like that. Um, and it's brainwashing and it's like it, it's attachment, ego attachment and everything. But I don't get it, you know, because you could sit here and tell me, well, BJJ is so stupid and like everyone who does it is stupid. And I'd be like, all right, well, you might have a point somewhere in your mind. Let's let's either talk about it or not, whatever. But that's your opinion. And you could say I did um, a bunch of uh, Jeet Kune Do for a long time. You could say, dude, Jeet Kune Do is so stupid, like. It's relevant for today. And I'd say, all right, well, your opinion, you know, whatever. I would never take it personally about like, he's insulting me and my instructor and my lineage. and blah, blah, blah. That's really dumb. And it's closed minded and it's narrow minded. If you get that offended that I talk a little trash about your specific martial art that you really like and study. And I don't know what to tell you. I can't help you, certainly. But I would suggest that you open up your mind and like, realize that no one's trying to insult you no one's also trying to insult your instructor all right maybe your instructor's a really tough guy and whoever you know he does tang sudo and he can kick my fucking ass in like 10 of me maybe he maybe probably not but maybe that's the case all right i don't know and i'm not like trying to sit here and say oh, i'm a tough guy i do mixed martial arts because uh, i'm like i'm not a tough guy right i'm actually kind of a softy so I really I want you guys to know like if and when because I definitely will trash your martial art at some point if it's stupid uh don't take it too personally and I don't mean any offense and if you really want to talk and hash it out well come on the podcast I'll invite you on sending me an email to go to fighting secrets at gmail.com if you think I'm fucking wrong well like be respectful and we can talk about it and if you really want to talk about it publicly I'll bring you on the podcast and we can do that but don't get passive aggressive. Don't get bitch made about it. Don't be butt hurt about it. I'm not trying to insult. Like I said a few times now, I'm not trying to insult you. I'm trying to get the point across that from what I see of your martial art, if I haven't practiced it myself and I've only been on the outside looking in, if I think it's stupid, I'm going to fucking say it. So don't hate me for it. You can if you want. I don't really care. Lots of people hate me. Lots of people love me. That's just the type of personality I am whatever um but i most importantly is like i said i'm a softy and i don't want people getting taken advantage of or hurt by like fake bullshit martial arts because when the time does come and i say when when the time does come for you to defend your life especially in the way that the world is going today um you don't want to have to worry about well am i really prepared you want to know you're prepared and you want to know that you know, you have that 60 to 70 percent chance of coming out alive. Even if you don't like win the fight, you want that high probability chance to come out alive. Um, I've been to the ICU. I've had my head split open. I've had my ribs broken on the streets and shit. It's not fun. And I don't want that to happen to anyone if it doesn't have to. And if it has to, I want you to at least be able to walk away alive like I did. And the only reason I was able to is because I fucking did hard martial arts and hard self-defense shit where I got hit and I got fucking hurt during it. So, like, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I want people to realize that if they're preppers and if they're prepping for combat, if they're prepping for defending against a home invasion or a rapist or a fucking kidnapping or whatever it is, that it's not going to be easy to get out of that, especially if the system – fuck the system. If the system – makes you become unarmed right whether you what for whatever reason you don't you're not able to be armed like you're gonna have to rely on these hands they're called hands sometimes i don't know what to do with my hands so i do this and i grew up in freaking on the east coast so i'm kind of honorary italian so i talk with my hands a lot but forgive me for it 
No, seriously. I really, I care about, I very much care about the GFS family. You guys who have been coming back and like commenting and coming in the live chats and all of that for like fucking years now, you guys are my friends. Like I don't, Jen and I both feel that way that you guys are our friends. And I know we haven't met a lot of you, but that's how we feel. And I don't want to make sure that anyone that's watching our videos, like gets as much of the real McCoy as humanly possible. So again, when I see something stupid, I'm going to say it so that you guys don't get trapped up in that. I'll go and study crap and God, I'll be able to defend myself. And you're going to get fucking taken advantage of in too many fuck in too many ways. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to leave it at that before I really start rambling. But until next time, guys, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. And I'll see you on one of our next videos. Cheers, guys.